about to go in depth of what it's like to feel an ollie, feel the physics under your feet, feel what it's like to enjoy having fun while skateboarding. Even though the way a skateboard trick works may seem very complicated, it actually uses a lot of things you would learn in an average physics class at its basics. Due to the fact that we live in an imperfect world, we obviously can't ignore things like friction. The bearings used on this skateboard of course have a little friction. They do their job well, but not perfectly. This means no matter how fast, the skateboard will eventually stop. Friction in this example is the force that is acting upon the board to stop its motion, a great example of Newton's first law. This trick is called an ollie. The purpose of an ollie is to simply get the skateboard off of the ground or to get the board onto or over obstacles. Whenever you're on the board and you feel the physics under your feet, it's way different from what you would ever expect. And it's something that you don't think of, but it's enjoyable. To do an ollie, you bend your knees and use the weight or force of your legs to pop one end of the board down into the ground. The force of the board hitting the ground will make it bounce up back into the air. But, to keep the board parallel to the ground, you need to use your opposite foot to drag it up the side of the board using friction to pull it higher into the air and level it out to prepare for hitting the ground. The friction between your shoe and the board plays a big role in doing skateboard tricks. Skateboarding shoes can be bought specifically for that reason. This is a video of TJ doing a rolling ollie. His momentum is what keeps him and the board moving to create a constant arc while he does the trick. The elastic force of the spring action in your legs quickly turns into kinetic energy as it bounces into the air after it strikes the ground. The potential energy increases the higher the board travels in the air, so you need to be fast to pull off an ollie. Then you let gravity take over as you land back onto the ground. Well, if you're ever interested in the physics of skateboarding, now you know.